today we have assembled here to celebrate the sahastra day which was open in 1970 on this date <clears throat> i find this beautiful canopy is life our sastra and so very apt to have this beautiful arrangement for sastra we have to understand what happens when the sastra ra opens when the kundalini passes through the five centers it enters into the area which we call as limbic area this area is all surrounded by thousand nerves and when these nerves get enlightened they look like flames of vibjio or colors seven colors and very mildly beautifully shining <coughs> emitting peace but when the kundalini starts emitting its vibration on the sides all these nerves get enlightened gradually and start moving on all directions opening the sastra and then the kundalini what's this noise about emerges out emerges out through the fontanel bone area which we call as brahma randra randra means the whole and the brahma is the all pervading power of god's love so it enters into the subtle energy which is all pervading which we do not feel normally but then the chaitanya the vibrations which are the part and parcel of this ener- of this energy all pervading power the Bar- parama chaitanya they start entering into our brain and showering their blessings in the limbic area they assemble now the limbic area is connected to all the area of the brain and also to the nerves so it starts flowing on to the nerves giving you the new awareness of collective consciousness called as samuhik chetana so you get a new chetana a new awareness which is showered upon your limbic area 
the working of these chaitanya waves is very interesting they are normally formed like small commas but then they go into different forms they make themselves into swastikas as the four limbed symbol of innocence or they become the omkara as you know how om is written which is the symbol of our doing our awareness so when they form the swastika they try to nourish the left side and when they form the omkara they nourish the right side left and right sympathetic nervous system they nourish but sastrara is to be kept open is rather difficult for people because it's a vicious circle first these vibrations should enter into your brain through the brahma randra when it is opened out and they should nourish your nerves by which your left and right side open out and so more chaitanya can flow down all these centers but if your sastra ra is not properly open this process doesn't take place as a result of that the chakras don't open the kundalini only as very few strands is kept in the spinal cord and the new strands cannot rise because your chakras are not open so in sahaj yoga it is very important to keep your sahasrara open otherwise there's a vicious circle to keep the sahasrara open is in a way very easy as well as difficult. as you have known in the devi mahatmya that at sahasrara mahamaya comes she is a mahamaya not easy to recognize her not easy to know her she lives just like you she moves just like you and you can never make out her near real nature she is in the form of mahamaya so at the sastrara to recognize the mahamaya is another vicious circle you may say that why should it be mahamaya should have been better as talkingly some other form but any other form could not have worked out sajoga in modern times because people would have been frightened and upset and they would never have taken to sahajog because they had no discretion already within them to know what is right what is wrong that is why it had to be in the mahamaya form Now, in the mahamaya form you have to recognize this is another test because mahamaya you cannot recognize while you have to recognize 
But in Sahaja Yoga you have seen so many photographs which should convince you people mentally about this Mahamaya Swarupa. You can see mentally, you can understand there's something very different. Even when I came to Napoli, the policemen and everybody was given a photograph and they all recognized that there's something very different. They all wanted to shake hands with me. This is one way. Another way is that you start seeing the blessings and you start seeing how you become so progressively better materially, physically, emotionally and spiritually. Still on a mental level, most of the people recognize. But unless and until it is recognized in the heart, it's no recognition. Already the heart is surrounded by seven auras of the seven chakras. And the spirit, the atma resides in the heart. As it is on top of your head here, resides the God Almighty Sadashiva. So when Kundalini touches that point, your spirit gets awakened and the light of the spirit starts spreading. And it starts acting on your central nervous system because automatically the vibrations, the Chaitanya flow into your brain who enlighten your nerves. But still, the recognition on the heart is not there. Even without that, you start feeling the cool breeze, you can raise the Kundalini of others, you can cure people, you can do many things. But still, it is not yet felt in the heart so much. That's why we have music, art. All these things start opening your heart. But still it is not recognition because recognition is a mental activity of the heart. How can heart have a mental activity? This is another problem you all can face and I know that. That recognition, if it is a mental activity of the heart, how do we do it? Say, if you are a Christian, born in a Christian family, as soon as I see the photograph of Christ, immediately you feel it's Christ, it's something, yeah. Or if you are a Hindu, if you see the photograph of Sri Rama, immediately you know it's Sri Ram, you see, there's a kind of a thing, recognition in the heart. But the recognition of somebody living with you is very, very difficult and you live on the cusp of your mental activities only. But to go deep down into your heart, what should we do, people tell me. Mother, how should we get into our heart? How this mental activity can be performed through the heart. 
Now you must remember that heart is absolutely connected with brain. Absolutely connected. It's not disconnected thing. If it was, it would not have worked. When heart fails, after some time, brain also fails. The whole body goes out of order. If the child is crying, please take out the child. Better take out the child. Something wrong with the child if the child is crying. So this mental activity of the heart is to be understood this way, that as soon as you see the danger, without even thinking in a reflex way, your heart starts pumping more blood and you get palpitation. You don't have to think, there's no mental activity. Just you see, supposing a tiger standing before you, immediately the heart will start pumping. It's a reflex action. Now, how this activity takes place, one may say, is that because it is built in within you, that as soon as you see some emergency, your sympathetic nervous system goes into activity. And you start feeling the fear, you start feeling uh, that there should be some protection, that you should do something about it. But you do not think, you just run. You run as fast as possible. Don't think about it, what I should do, where I should run, just you go on running. Away from the danger. And how do you do that? Because it is built in within you, all this in your brain that as soon as the heart starts pumping too much blood, it should just make the legs work and the hands work and you should run. Or we can say it is in the central nervous system built in, the fear. Any reaction, any response like that is built in within you. But the response to the spirituality is not yet manifested. It is manifested, it is all built, no doubt, but it is not yet manifested. And how will it manifest? That's what people ask me, Mother, how will it manifest? Through your past, you have learned that you have to be afraid of this, you have to be afraid of that. Also in this lifetime you have learned many things. For a child may put his hand to the candle, won't feel, be frightened but a grown-up will because an experience. With the experience, gradually you built in that reaction of reflex within you so that you try to save yourself. Now, what experience you should have to build that in your heart is the point. And the experience is of your own divinity. 
of your own spirituality once you start developing that experience then you know that you are divine person unless and until you are aware fully that you are a divine person howsoever faith you may have in me the recognition is not complete because who is recognizing me is a blind person if a blind person is recognizing me it won't have that response of the heart so first you have to recognize yourself to be a divine person to have faith in yourself 